shot. A miracle in the midst of tragedy. Nine-year-old Kendall Olivares was shot twice when the gunman unleashed terror inside her classroom. Tonight, she's finally home with her family. Cynthia Itzaguire shares her story. In the midst of so much tragedy. I'm very sentimental, so, yeah. We found a miracle at University Hospital in San Antonio. All my great kids, and you know, I don't, I don't like for them to, to be suffering, you know. Jimmy and Tina Olivares are Kendall Olivares' grandparents. Very brave little girl. She's tough. Kendall survived the deadliest school shooting in Texas history. Just glad that, I mean, that we're still happy with us, you know. I don't know what I would do without her. This brave nine-year-old girl is everything that's inspiring. Blue. Kendall, who loves dancing, Mexican bingo, and TikTok videos, remembers the moment the gunman stormed into her classroom. Her seeing that, you know, it's going to stay with her, you know, forever, you know, how she saw her teacher get shot. I mean, it just happened right in front of her. Shot twice, once in the left shoulder and in her back, Kendall is alive and able to tell her parents what happened inside Robb Elementary. They are not able to speak publicly, but her grandparents are. Well, I'm just happy, you know, that they care for people, a lot of people care for her. Kendall's story is not easy to listen to, but it's important to hear and understand the terror unleashed in her classroom. Prepare yourself to learn the horror she went through for more than an hour in her fourth grade class. A lot of innocent kids, you know, got hurt, passed away. Kendall told her mother the gunman yelled out, y'all are done. She says she was the first student shot and then teacher Irma Garcia was shot and landed on top of her. One by one, Kendall told her mother the gunman shot her friends. She heard each of them fall to the floor. Kendall's cousin is a classmate. He pulled Miss Garcia's body off of Kendall. Both Kendall and her cousin survived. The Olivares family is overcome with gratitude. Thank you, God, for giving another chance. After five surgeries in 10 days, Kendall faces a long road to recovery, both physically and mentally. Mrs. Olivares says Kendall's parents are faced with their own recovery. He just cries, but has not really, really, like, let it all out. I mean, he's, and he's scared, you know, he's very scared. Kendall doesn't want to go back to Uvalde. She can still hear the gunshots, the shooter walking down the hallway with his gun, and her mother says she can't sleep. We will get through this. For her, we will. The family says support and prayers from around the world has carried them. Cynthia Seguirre, Ken's Five. Kendall was released from University Hospital on Friday, but two other survivors are still being treated there tonight. A 10-year-old girl is in serious condition right now, and a 66-year-old woman is in good condition. Today, funerals continue for the 19 students and two teachers killed at Robb Elementary. Family members said a final goodbye to nine-year-old Eliana Garcia. Her funeral was held this morning. A GoFundMe page says Ellie was a sweet girl with a beautiful soul. Saturday would have been her 10th birthday. And a visitation was also held for Xavier Lopez. His family told the Washington Post he was funny and never serious. They also said he excelled in school and that his favorite subject was art. Xavier's funeral is set for tomorrow.